Hi guys, welcome to a, another vlog on the Mugridge Motorsport YouTube channel. Um, today we're covering the Spring Speed Nationals, which is round two of the UK National Championship. Um, moving on from our problems that we had from the last race, uh, where both cars were running slow, one with a borrowed engine, one with um, self-inflicted electrical issues. Um, this time around, uh, I did a little bit more work in between Festival Power and Spring Peak Nationals. And uh, basically, we figured out that the uh, the reason we were running slow and one on, on three cylinders was because the um, MSD two-step controller had um, appeared to have developed a fault. So when we unplugged it from the ignition system um, it immediately worked on four cylinders and was running perfectly fine um, so i didn't have a lot of time to fix that between races so i decided to just foot brake it off of the clutch as close to the stall as possible um, and basically run it like a like you would with a methanol car um, or any uh, stock or whatever. Um, with Luke's car, we we were basically still running the borrowed engine. The new the new engine hadn't turned up yet, um, so we were just playing around with the throttle stop setting to try and get the car in the right sweet spot, um, which proved to be very difficult with this three and three quarter engine, as the um, You'd have it if you left it on full throttle, it would just run 770s or 760s. If you tried giving it half throttle, it would run 850s, 90s, um, three quarter throttle, 770s. Uh, so it was a bit of a nightmare um, because I didn't really have enough ballast available to weigh it down the old fashioned way, which would have been better. Um, so enjoy. Right. Oh, there's a big push back there. Well, Teddy did get a uh, reaction time. Unfortunately, it was red, but uh, the car cut out, so he's uh, back behind the start line now. Next up, then. Oh, this guy's got a target on his back. Mackenzie Love. He's your number one qualifier at the Festival of Power. And not only that, he went all the way through and he took the event win as well. He's got the points lead at the moment, going alongside Luke Mugridge. With Mugridge Motorsport Dragster. Ah, oh, Matt Seamarks uh, tuned in from Yorker. Oh, 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 Mackenzie Love goes red, but it was a double oh five red. Oh, so close. Uh, Luke Mugridge, though, goes in at number two with an 038. Oh, Mackenzie, that was so, so close to a perfect light, but it was a red. Oh, that was close. Right, next up then, Luke Thornton. Surely Bob can't break out this time. Surely not, surely not. Hey, got it the right side. 9.38 on a 37 for Bob. Goes to number three. Nicely done, Bob. And a 10.08. See where that puts Dan for. Number 11. Good shot. Right, Nick Mugridge with a little dragster taking on Andy Garnett with the Millennium Hawk. Tesla dialing in 11.12. Nick dialing in 10.52. So. It's a 10.45 breakout. Nick Mugridge, a little bit too quick. He'll be pleased with that, though. Uh, Andy Garnett, though, stays number seven. Goes 11.19 on an 11.12. Mum and Dad happy. Hey, <laughs> that's what we like. Right, well, we've seen uh, one of the Cooper brothers go through, and here's the other one. It's Kai. He's number two qualifier at the moment.
That's for I stand corrected. Uh, he was number one after Q1. It was Purdy, number two. And uh, Luke Mugridge was number three. He was number two, slipped back to number three. Cooper takes the number one back with a 0 1 6. So for Lucas Oz, for Fenny Racing, it is Kai Cooper number one now. Told you it's going to move around. Uh, 05 red for young Luke, so uh, he stays put. But no improvement. He'd already been a uh, hundredth off. So no help for either. Next up, Al Medley, Nick Mugridge. Old timer taking on the dragster. Alan currently in the number eight spot. Nick Mugridge currently in the number 14 spot. Ten fifty three for Nick, ten seventy one for Al. Uh, no movements in position there. All right, Tom. Next up, Harry Redshaw and Luke Mugridge. Harry currently number 18, Luke number 5. There's certainly room at the top. 016 is the best at the moment. Still got plenty of qualifying to come from the juniors. I told you there was space. Harry Redshaw. Uh, he's going to be knocking on the door. He's just moved up to number 2 with that one. Last year's Lucas Oil's junior dragster champion. He's starting to make his moves now. He was 18, he's now number 2. Luke Mugridge drops a spot because of Harry's improvement there. And that's a wrap for Junior Dragster for that round. We we're going to see him one more time today. Two good runs. Neil Watkins with the Purple Express pickup. Dial in of 11.24. Nick Mugridge certainly got the car working this weekend. Dial in 10.45. Shane just bringing Neil up to the line. Both the way well. Ten sixty six on a forty five. Neil Watkins goes eleven thirty one on a twenty four. Guess what? No help for either. Neil stays four, Nick stays 20. Mugridge, currently number six, Ada Cassisi, number 16. Ada's had a 0 8 6. Shows how tight it is in Junior Dragster.
Ruxley, then he's in the number two spot. Going alongside Nick Mugridge, number 22. is his qualifying marker at the moment. Luke Mugridge, 038. He's currently number nine. Luke was trying there, that's for sure. 03 red, unfortunately. Kai goes 068, no help for him. He's already had an 016. So they stay put. Kai 5, Luke 9. Very, very close indeed. But it's, uh, Alan Schofield will see in round two. Right, the two jun junior cop dragsters. We've got Will Clark and Nick Mugridge. Right, so you can tell them apart. Uh, will Clark is in the auto glim lane. He's got a dialing of 9.83. Nick Mugridge, 10.55 in the Kestrel Beer Lane. red so it'll be Will Clark that takes the win
<laughs> Do you know what? Mick Muggridge couldn't care less. The car was working brilliantly on that one there. A 10.121 well on lads. Even though it was a lose out, doesn't matter. Got the car sorted. Had that in the bag, basically. But uh, just got there too quickly. Next pair. Luke Muggridge. Taking on Jake Cooper. 7.90 for Luke. 8.95 for Jake. Ooh, almost, almost both on the limits of class. Goes red, unfortunately, there. So it's going to be Jake Cooper that goes through into the next round. Goes through the 9.13. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, if you're going to lose, you might as well go out in style. <laughs> uh, wasn't quite part of the plan, but there we go. Right, next.